Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph, and the Leopards again have won another football game. They moved to 4-1. and one. They're at the top of the Patriot League, and they've done it in a few ways. Obviously, the offense was fantastic, but this is a stifling defense along with Marco Olivas, Billy Schaefer, what a game he had, and also uh, Preston Forney. And then again, up front, the guys up front, some of those young players getting to the quarterback, causing havoc in the backfield, getting to the quarterback and sacking. Lafayette leads the Patriot League in sacks. So let's talk a little bit about some of the things that Princeton is going to bring to the table. Now, this is a team that loses a couple wide receivers. It loses a couple of guys up on the offensive line and the defensive line. But we're going to talk about stopping John Volker right here. Number two, he's a terrific running back. He's gone over 100 yards once this year. He's uh, basically third in the league in rushing with 88 yards a game. And then Blake Sendstrom right here, the quarterback. He does lose his two top wide receivers, so he's doing it a lot with his legs. He's getting out of the pocket, doing some of those things. So what I'm talking about is stopping the run. We have to have gap control is what I'm talking about. Making sure that if I have the B gap, or if I'm coming to the front side A gap, or I'm scraping across, Everybody's got to have gap control so that we don't get up the field and create seams for, uh, for Volker to get through. So again, it's a lot of downhill inside run. It's going to be some of that speed sweep across the formation. These are things that they're going to do to try to get outside. They really hurt us last year in the flats, not only with the quick game, but getting on the perimeter with guys like Volker. He's more of a downhill type of runner, but we've done a good job this year against running backs. Remember Grant against for Sacred Heart. And also we stopped uh, uh, the running back for Mammoth in a really good position. So again, stopping the run, not allowing anything, making things bounce to the outside, creating a wall up front, maybe moving some guys inside, filling some gaps with the linebackers, with Forney, and with Marco Olivas, we should be able to stop the run. We are number one in the Patriot League against the run. So again, stopping Volker, stopping number 18, Blake Sendstrom. The other second thing is when we do get pass situations and we get up the field, we don't want 18 stepping up in the pocket and running the football. We don't want him getting outside the pocket. Lafayette's had a little bit of trouble getting washed down inside, not getting that extra pass rusher to the outside for contain. So we don't want him stepping up in the pocket and releasing through the natural gaps in a four-man rush or getting pinned to the inside and not getting our rusher to the outside. Lafayette has lost contain a couple of times. So again, keeping 18 in the pocket. The other thing Lafayette can do is maybe go to a three-man rush and then one of these backers inside can drop, the other one can sit and spy 18. And Marco Olivas does a great job at that. Spying, when that quarterback takes off, he can come out of the pocket. If he takes off this way, he can come out of the pocket and running him down. We saw that against Lehigh, and we saw that earlier in the year against Sacred Heart. So again, stopping the run, putting a lockdown on Volker, putting a lockdown on Blake Sendstrom, who threw for 290 yards last year, 30 for 40. So stop the run. Make them one-dimensional, and again, the receivers on the outside, Lafayette should be to handle. We'll see you at 1 o'clock down in Princeton.